Hey everyone, and welcome to another Civilization 6 game. So, I often have problems deciding what exactly to do for save. In the past, I spent days or even weeks deciding what would be an interesting setup with some kind of spin to it. And I waste so much time doing that, that this time I decided to just literally go down the list of leaders alphabetically and pick the first one I either haven't played or maybe I just feel like playing. So in this case, it's going to be Alexander. And I'll just go with the standard Pangea setup. For reason I just mentioned a moment ago. So, as usual, it's going to be Deity, Pangea, standard map size. We're playing Alexander with all random AIs. I enabled Heroes and Legends. I like having them around. They make things fun. Here's the seed. And let's get started. Okay, so the most important thing as Alexander for us is to have horses and iron, because some unique units do not require strategic resources, but both ours do. Not as many as standard units, but we do in fact need horses, and we do in fact need iron. Only five iron per unit, but we still need it nonetheless. So hopefully there will be some. Okay, so we have spices here, which is always nice for yields. And a lot of tundra. Which is not great, but it could be good if we get the Dance of the Aurora. I don't really see a good hill to settle on. I think we'll just settle on spot. And this is all a lake. This could also be good in the future, this lake over here, for Huey Taokali. We got the dice in range. Yeah, I think we'll settle on spot here. I see no specific reason to move, so I'm not going to move. I mean, in theory, there's a plains hill on the other side of the lake, but it's not like I can get there very quickly. I most certainly cannot. Plus, we know nothing about the surroundings. Wasting like five, six turns to get there would be a huge mistake. Alright, let's settle on spot then. Here we go. And we'll grab a scout. And we'll be working the spices right away. That's really nice. Having a free food, one production tile that we can work right from the start is really, really nice. Spices are one of my favorite luxuries because of the yields they got. Alright, animal husbandry. We need to know where horses are and we need to know where Aaron is. We need both, preferably. But having at least one is the bare minimum. Otherwise, I simply won't be able to take advantage of my unique units. And I would like to take advantage of my unique units. Now, one problem with this start is that we might get barbarians attacking us from the north. And there will be nothing else to disrupt them. So I'm a little bit worried about that. Now, I don't want to go too far with this warrior. But I want to see if we have any neighbors here. And I want to find city-states. Okay, yeah, we got something here. That looks like... Okay. France. Well then... They're not super close. But they are not exactly far away either. If I could yoink that settler, that would be amazing. But I suspect they will keep escorting it with the warrior. Still, we can maybe chill around here to see if we get an opportunity. I could be going to the builder, but I would really prefer to get a settler. Okay, so the scout can go in the other direction. The scout should check the general surroundings of our city. And I think we want to get a slinger. I usually get a builder at this point. But I'm a little bit worried about barbarians with this start. So I think a slinger makes sense. Okay, a slinger makes sense. I can't take full advantage of a builder just yet anyway. Well, I can soon. We are about to get the wheat. But yeah, let's just get a slinger to play it safe. Yeah, there's already a barbarian scout. Yeah, that's not exactly unexpected. That's not some huge revelation. Alright, yeah, let's just stay around here. 
Maybe we can discourage France from sending that settler west. Prevent them from starting cities closer to us. Okay, first city state, that's good. Are we the first to meet them? Yes, we are. Okay, so there's probably no AI directly to the west. If there are no because they would have made contact then when I die, with the city state already. I want to go where they went. Animal husbandry, where are horses? I don't see any. Tell me there are some horses nearby. Well, there's one here, but that's very close to the city-state. Yeah, so far there isn't really a good source. Hopefully we'll find one. Oh, yeah, and I see the barbarian camp. We need to get rid of that. Because that's really bad news. That is really, really bad news. If they send a scout, and they probably will. It is not wisdom. All right, let's grab discipline right away and God King. Now, if I get the dance of the Aurora, I will go for a religion. But first, let's see if we get it or not, and then we can decide. If I go for a religion, I'll have to give up some of my early expansion and development. So yeah, we'll see. There are plenty of benefits to having a religion, but yeah, you have to commit a little bit early on to actually get it. At least on Deite. This is a lot of desert. You already know what I'm thinking, right? Petra. This would be a great Petra city. A lot of desert hills. Okay, it's a spearman, as expected. Let's kill him before they send the scout. And maybe we can get at the archery post. And yep, we see a scout here. So there's no way I can prevent this scout from getting away. I just can't do that. Best we can do is focus on this camp right here. That's the best I can do in this situation. So we'll do that. And now we'll get a builder. I'll need the craftsmanship post. Yeah, we will get raided from the north. That's just going to happen. That's going to happen. Okay, I can actually back up two tiles right now. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let the scout destroy the camp. That's plus three error score. I think we can kill the spearman right now. I need a killing blow for my slinger, so let's do it like this. That should do the trick. There we go, that gives us archery boost. And we'll probably want archery early on to defend ourselves. Even one single archer would be big for defensive purposes. <laughs> what are you even talking about? What are you talking about, woman? Alright, well, we will get a raid here, like I said. And that's kind of unavoidable now, but at least we got rid of one barbarian camp. Let's go scout around a little bit more. We'll go south, because we know this is the end of the map to the north. And while I don't want to find the when barbarian find camp, we know it's home. there. Quit digging. Alright, let's heal up before they come. Uh, one more turn of craftsmanship research, and then we can switch to something else. I definitely need this builder though, regardless of the raid coming or not. We will get archery because he's busted. Okay, goody hat, nice. Switch to foreign trade, maybe we can get it busted. We'll see about that. I'll try. Foreign trade boost. Okay, I guess we don't need to do it anymore. As in, we don't need to find another continent. Alright, just a warrior, that's fine. Let him come a little bit closer. And we'll go look for other AIs. Come at me, bro. Yep, and his friends are also coming, that's fine. There's a promotion, nice. That's a lot of forest. They're building wonders, yeah, whatever. Okay, we can kill the scout, I think. It's going to be close. Now, they didn't get him, that's unfortunate. I could maybe intercept him with my scout. I don't even know where he came from. I have no idea where he came from. 
I want to keep going with my scout because I want to find other AIs. And we need to find one more city-state to get our boost. So, you know. That's kind of important. Okay, let's move into the city, pick up battle cry and volley. Yeah, let's just keep moving. Hopefully we can find a third city-state. And more than just France. Okay, there's the builder. So first, improve the wheat. You know, to get irrigation boost and all that. Yeah, this is not going to be a problem. I was a little bit worried they will send horsemen after us, which can happen super early on. But fortunately, they did not. It would have been a little bit rough dealing with horsemen. So now I could just grab a settler. Probably a good idea. I could get another unit to deal with the barbarians, but I really want to settle my second city ASAP. Okay, there we go. We got political philosophy boost. I'm not sure where exactly we'll be settling our second city. If the horses are still available by the time I get my settler, I might just settle close to the horses and buy them. Because we don't know if we'll be able to get horses otherwise. There isn't any other swords that I could get. Okay, Rome. Good to know. Where is he? Over here, southeast. Yeah, this is quite a few barbarians, but no horsemen. We will get archer in one turn. Let's just back up here. Get our irrigation boost. So, okay, I'm obviously keeping discipline. And we're still waiting for a pantheon. I have a feeling we will not get the Dance of the Aurora. But I guess we'll see about that. It could still happen, but it's already turn 26. Early Empire. Alright, one turn to get archery. I'll just have to spend one turn to actually upgrade that guy. May the forces of evil be Okay. Well, I can kill the warrior here. Let's do that. Our warrior needs to heal up. We can improve the rice. Let's go with that. And protect him with the warrior in case the slinger tries something funny and now we need to reveal Aaron So we want to know where Aaron is before our settler Okay, Arthur that is an interesting hero because you can use Arthur to go after one of your neighbors very very early on He's really good for early war. I could literally use him to take over France I mean, not literally right now, but if I hurry up, I could definitely do it. I could even get scouts and then use him on scouts. Okay, we need that archer and I think I need to back up. Otherwise, I risk losing my warrior and my builder. We obviously don't want that, do we? No, obviously not. Let's keep going. Yeah, now I'm really, really tempted to go for Arthur's start. It's quite a fun start. It's definitely fun start. I don't need a monument first, and we need that settler out first. One thing I could also do is start the city close to Paris, and then just teleport Arthur to that city. But he'll need units to transform, or convert rather. Okay, this is quite a few barbarians now, but we have the archer. So that's quite a bit of extra firepower. Yeah, my builder will have to stay away for now. Yeah, he'll have to stay away. Sorry, buddy. You can get your work done later. Fortunately, this is our capital, so they cannot take our capital. Uh, they can pillage my farm. That could happen. But they can't take my capital. Uh, let's kill this warrior here, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. I need to heal my warrior at least a tiny little bit. So let's do that. And I'm going to need the craftsmanship boost soon. Not that it will save me a whole lot of time. Man, I'm going to end up on this tile with my scout three turns in a row, but it's not my fault. First I got blocked by the warrior and then this was a dead end. It's not my fault, alright? Alright, they are still coming. 
Yeah, let's just kill the warrior here. There you go. I can probably... Yeah, no, that's not safe, moving in. Not yet. So Rome is here. Let's go east, actually. Yeah, let's just keep moving east. Seems like the best idea here. I don't need to kill them to send my settler to actually settle something. Alright, I think best we can do is kill this slinger with our archer and then kill this guy with the warrior. That way the warrior will be safe afterwards. So that's exactly what we'll do. Hopefully the road east is not blocked by mountains. I like how much time they're wasting just attacking our city here. Yep, there we go, that works. Now we can improve the rice. I need two more improvements here. So rice and then... Well, I could wait for irrigation uh, to get spices. We probably should do that because, you know, I'll be working spices pretty much at all times regardless. And I'm pretty sure we're not getting a religion. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna happen. I mean, that's fine. Not every single game needs to have our own religion, you know? <laughs> One health, really? Uh, okay, that's a bit of a troll. I'm pretty sure he can't kill my warrior like this, so... Let's just do this. And we have one more charge for the spices. Okay, mountain. Fingers crossed for iron. Ideally, I would like to settle iron with my second city. But again, first we need to see what it is to begin with. Okay, there you go. Now we'll need irrigation ASAP. I could wait for 6 population, but... The only thing I can research here is mysticism, if I want to wait for craftsmanship post. So that's a bit awkward. <laughs> Are you so scared of expansion? I've been busy fighting barbarians. You should know a thing or two about that, you know? You should definitely know a thing or two about that. Okay, got it. Right, now I need irrigation. We'll get that after bronze working. I could still just improve the deer to get the craftsmanship boost, because I need that craftsmanship boost, like right now. It's not the best use of the builder charge ever, but it will give me craftsmanship boost. So let's just go with that. And then we can switch to state workforce. Because we will get early empire boosted. Well, the problem is that... No, that's not a problem. The settler will just start a city and that will count as one pop. It doesn't need to be one city with uh, six pop, just our entire civilization. So we're fine recruiting the settler. Alright, I don't want to go east here, so we'll just follow the barbarian scout. This is a pretty slow start so far. It just kind of worked out this way. My capital location is not exactly amazing. It's pretty low production. But... Well, not every start is going to be a giga start, you know. We are keeping discipline. And I still need God King. This is a bit awkward. Alright, follow that barbarian, thanks. Only one religion so far, okay. We need 25 for a pantheon, so we are almost there. Okay, yep, we came to the wrong neighborhood. Now, I could get Dark Age on the purples, and then Golden Age. Uh, rather, Heroic Age. Heroic Age should be pretty easy as Alexander, because we literally got two unique units, which is free era score. That's literally free era score. I'm also interested. Okay, tell me we have iron. Please tell me we have iron. In range or possible to settle. Okay, well, that's not the city of my dreams, but it's two sources. With that said, I will probably be giving up horses, but I think those sources of iron are more important. And it's possible France will settle this, if I wait. And the only problem is this barbarian camp. If I go here, I'll have to handle the barbarian camp, clearly. So I could wait 
for the second settler and just get the horses first. It would give me cotton. It would be a pretty decent city. I could settle it right here, actually. This is a nice spot because it will have fresh water. The cotton will still be in range. We'll have oasis to the east. So this is not a terrible spot. And it would be much easier to defend as well if I have to do that. So I might actually do this and we'll get the iron a little bit later. I'm leaning towards doing that. Okay, well, now we probably want a monument and Arthur. It will take 12 turns, sadly. Also, uh, this guy will pillage an improvement, but I probably wasn't working that one anyway. But I needed it for craftsmanship boost. So, next up... Oh yeah, we should get pottery. I need pottery for irrigation anyway. So... Okay, I doubt the Dance of the Aurora is available. No, it's not. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. But hey, you never know, right? You never know. So, I might just pick up either Divine Spark or Fertility Rides. I actually wouldn't mind a free builder in my capital right now. Especially with relatively low production that we got. Not that he will help me directly with production right now, but I could send him to my second city. Help it out a little bit early on. So this is not a terrible idea, honestly. And we'll get extra growth as well. That's worth something too. Yeah, let's just go with fertility rights. There you go. Got our builder. And we'll send him with a settler. Yep. We can keep one build to get the spices. Maybe two builds to also get olives. That depends. Need to be careful about this barbarian camp. It would be nice if France destroyed it. But at the same time, I don't want France settling this iron. I need it for myself. I really, really need it for myself. Let's hope we can get the horses before the city-state claims it. Yep, hopefully. So this is where we're going. Let's go! Alright, kill uh, the slinger. Yeah, he pillaged the deer, but that's okay. We knew that's gonna happen. Now, I could go north and try to find that the barbarian camp. We don't know how far away it is. It could be close. Okay, I could kill this warrior, but I don't want to get killed afterwards. And killing barbarians with a scout is not exactly our priority. Let's just go scout around. We should probably go south, actually. I doubt that there's anything to the north, but there might be something to the east. It's just that now that we know there are a bunch of barbarians over here, it might not be safe to go east. So let's just go south. I'm okay with this. Yep, okay, Barbarian Scout. Alright. And another Barbarian Scout. Okay, we can kill this guy before he can alert anyone. At least I'm pretty sure we can. That Barbarian camp can't be too far away. I really don't want to get swarmed by Barbarians. Wait, can we actually get him? No, I can't get him. It didn't look like he got alerted though. Yeah, I can't get him like this. We need to kill the slinger first. Okay, kill the slinger then. Would be funny if the city-state claimed uh, that horse literally right before I settled the city. <laughs> and by that I mean it wouldn't be funny at all. It would be the opposite of funny. Okay, also, yeah, this guy. Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay, let's kill the Slinger with our warrior. He should be fine here. I want to kill the scout before he can do anything funny. Okay, here we are. Just don't claim the horse. Thank you. Don't even dare. Okay, back up now. Okay, they didn't. That's good. We can buy it ourselves right away. It was nice. Like air conditioning that brought down oh yeah, and that this gives us early empire, I guess. That's fine. So, while we don't need the God King anymore, 
I probably want ilcom. Ilcom or colonization? Probably ilcom. We could also take land surveyors for a moment. Yeah, that makes sense. It won't be worth that much, but our income is not exactly amazing at the moment. I'm obviously keeping discipline. All right. Nice. Now I could buy more. We should probably buy the olives. We don't have irrigation yet, but we will. Yeah, we should probably buy the olives, because the border will likely not expand here naturally. And yes, I can see the barbarian come to the east. And I'm not happy about it. All of this will be easier once I get at least one unique unit out. Let's get the horses right away. The wheat can wait, alright? It can wait. So, let's start with a monument here. And... Okay, I think I'll get Magnus, although I don't really see any forests I might chop. Perhaps this one. We will remove the marsh. It's not an amazing use of Magnus. There's one forested hill over here. We can still use him for provision, however, which is what I intend to do. I guess it makes sense. Okay, let's get the Magnus for our capital. And then hopefully we can get provision before the second settler. We probably will, because the production has been pretty slow. Yeah, this is definitely not the best no opening of a game, because our starting location is pretty bad. It's low production. Food is decent, but production is going to be low. But I'm going to continue it and see where it goes from here. Yeah, this city would literally have better production than our capital once it grows a little bit. It will. Now, the question is, do I want to wait for state workforce boost? Probably not, because we need political philosophy ASAP. I could delay it a little bit, but we're still building the monument. And the campment would take 14 turns. I think we just need to finish state workforce and start working on political philosophy. Sometimes it just works out that way. I blame the low production. All right, back up. We don't want him to kill our warrior. Yeah, I'm still a little bit worried about this camp here. This will get much easier once we get our unique unit out. It has 36 melee strength. So that's quite a lot. And I still want the hero, Arthur. I could in theory still go after France. It's not super close to me, but I could do it. It's just that I would need some extra units to convert, even scouts. Scouts are fine too. This would be a much better start if I had a better production. The better production would change so much here. But like I said, sometimes it just works out this way. But I'm not going to read all this. Because that's how I end up, like, spending a month trying to set up an interesting game. We'll just roll with it, alright? Kill that scout before he can do anything funny. Okay, we have two builds. I could just go back home, get the spices and the olives. I think that makes a bit more sense. However, on the other hand, I want this city to grow. Because this city will be a little bit better than our capital in the long run. Not that much better, but it will be a bit better. And we don't want it to grow. So, okay, let's just get one farm. That's also plus one error score. With that said, I don't actually want error score right now. Yeah, I should not have done that. But it's only one point. Hopefully, I won't end up missing one point for Heroic Age. Because I definitely want to set up Heroic Age. That would be amazing if we could do that. Okay, so free inquiry. There you go. Okay, yeah, he will pillage this. Unless I can kill him, which maybe I can. No, damn it. We almost killed him. I guess our builder will repair that. That is kind of his job. And he's heading back there. But he's definitely going to pillage. 
my farm. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. See if I care. Okay, if I go here, he will attack my archer. So let's not do that. Still looking for more AIs. We almost got state workforce. It is and there's the monument. Right, I don't need land surveyors anymore. What do we want, though? Good question. Honestly, right now, urban planning might not be a terrible idea. I could also go for one of the dark policies, but I don't think they really make any sense for me right now. Not really, no. No, they don't make any sense. But I won't be getting a builder right now, I got better things to do. I won't be getting a settler right now either. So I actually think it makes sense to get urban planning. And obviously we're keeping discipline. Obviously. Here you go. Okay, let's kill this fella, shall we, while moving. Okay, that killed him, good. Repair the rice, and then we can get the spices. The only problem is that the spices might get pillaged if I keep getting barbarian raids. Okay, let's get Arthur. Now, it would maybe make sense to wait. However, if I wait, I risk having the AI claim him. And I want to secure him for myself. Even if I'm not entirely ready to go attack France. But I'm not entirely convinced I should go attack France. But... It would be pretty easy to take Paris. I don't like this river too much, but it would be pretty easy to take it. They do have walls now, but it should still be relatively easy to take it. I'll have to think about it. Hey, let me know what you think in the comments below, because I think that's going to be the end of the first episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. It really helps especially on the first episode. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.